cold and the roses never bloom So we'll be dealing with this one for a while. Let's get to posing. how nice this part of my workout is in the morning. Check it out. It's beautiful. So I am at Matt's office and I'm looking up gyms in the area where we're going and I found out that there's a YMCA. It's about 15 minutes away from where we're staying so I'm pretty sure they do day passes. I think it's like five or ten dollars. I'm just gonna be there for three workouts so that would be perfect. It's not far. I know that the YMCA has everything I need. They actually have classes so maybe I'll take a class. I don't know. Why not? So I'm probably gonna call them either now or later this afternoon um, and ask them about their their guest passes. So yay! I've got a gym. Okay so we found out that there is a YMCA in Burnet which is like I'd say it's about 12 minutes from where we're staying and we've been driving around all morning. Matt's been uh, going into businesses and giving him this card and looking for um, possible clients. So I've been working on my computer in the car and we are actually in the parking lot of the YMCA right now and I found out it's only $5 per day to work out. So that will be perfect for the next three workouts. I'm about to go in and I think what's gonna happen is he's gonna drop me off here. I'm gonna get my workout done. He's gonna come pick me up so I think this is where how it's gonna happen um, for the next couple workouts but luckily this is a deload week for me so my workouts are a lot shorter I do have 25 minutes of cardio to get done so my workout will probably be like a little more than an hour to get it done but I'm not gonna take my camera in because I don't want to film at a different gym I want to check out the atmosphere first and if I notice that it's okay I might bring it in next time, but really I'm just doing the same workouts that I've been doing. So I actually hit a new low weight this morning and um, as far as prep goes, so things are moving along very well. I'm definitely feeling different. I'm seeing changes in my body each week, so I think prep is going really well. I'm staying consistent on my macros. Workouts have been fantastic. I've been increasing with strength, so no strength losses yet, which is a possibility whenever you're in a deficit. So yeah. That's about it for now. I'm gonna go get this workout done. Do you know how to get back? Okay. Do you need to stop anywhere while we're out? So my workout's done. How long was that? Uh, I don't know. It was like barely an hour. So I found, like I told you guys, I found a YMCA, which is fantastic. It had everything I needed. But one, I didn't have my gym bag with my squat shoes or my belt in it, and I was doing. It's still my deload week, but I still like to wear my squat shoes and my belt whenever I squat heavier. If I go over 185, I like to wear my belt. So, and then being in a new environment, it's always like, I always get anxious and feel weird going in because I'm an outsider. I go in and the population is like 99% older men, like 65 and older, which is cool because they're in there getting it. But I think it kind of threw them off to see me in there doing pull-ups, so. There was one set where I was doing I was doing pull-ups and hanging leg raises, which by the way, I can almost do toes to bar now. Yeah, never been able to do that before, but I was doing pull-ups, um, tricep press downs and hanging leg raises and I was just doing a little circuit because I was trying to get it done. And I was doing my pull-ups and I saw him out of the corner of my eye standing there just watching me. And then I went to do my tricep press downs and he jumps up on the same pull-up bar, starts doing pull-ups on the same pull-up bar. There's like four other ones, like 
it's a big jungle gym, so there's a bunch of other ones. And he starts doing them, and then I, I do my set after his, and then he starts doing decline push-ups, like, right next to me. So I think he was, like, challenging me. I don't know. But, Trying to impress you. But he, uh, he got after it, so if, if that was motivation for him to work harder, then cool. <laughs> and then I benched a bit, squatted. It was a good workout, though. It's mad dog fitness. Hey! Uh, I got everything done. I got my cardio done. I got nice and sweaty. I will be back tomorrow to do it all again. Which I might go by myself tomorrow, or... I don't know. We'll figure that out. What's throwing us off is this guy. Anytime we go to a new environment, he doesn't want to be left without us. Like, he doesn't even care if Buzz is there. Like, Matt, you went out to get something from the truck, I think, and he was just pacing and whining. Oh, yeah. I don't know how he's going to do in his crate in the trailer. I don't want him to bark because the place that we're staying is a little more strict with dogs. It says, like, don't have excessive barking. You have to make sure, of course, keep them on a leash at all times, but there's, like, a designated dog walk area. It also is extra for dogs. What, $10 a day? Yeah. So it'd be an extra $100 for both dogs. We told him about one. <laughs> uh... So, please, I, I'm sure some of, please tell me some of you guys do this. <laughs> we told them about one, so we're only walking one at a time. Um, so hopefully they don't notice. They're just people watching. People they're, watching. They're just but smoking. They're gonna, oh, they're gonna notice if we have two dogs. There's not a whole lot of people there. Um, yeah. Which is kind of nice, but we want to go by the lake, but that's of course for the vlog. So, um, as far as prep update goes, how do you think it's going? Good, I guess. I mean, mentally you seem okay. <laughs> That's all I can really tell. Yeah? yeah? I think you're leaning out already. You think? I'm pretty sure. I feel like I have been a lot. King of the Eagles Park. Hey! That's where the bald eagles are. That's where the bald eagles are. I think I'm leaning out a lot. Good. I'm noticing a difference in my clothes. When I'm working out, I can see like a couple more muscles here and there, and then whenever I'm posing is whenever I see the biggest difference, because I actually saw an ab muscle this week, so it's good, it's good. We still got 12 weeks, and I keep saying it's a good amount of time, but it's not, because whenever you're getting ready for a bodybuilding show, you've got to get lean, and I've got, in terms of getting ready for the stage, I've got a long way to go. Now, where I'm at physically, like, I'm, I'm healthy and I'm fit. But leaning out for the stage, I've got a good amount of fat to lose. So, we'll see what we can do. I'm going to keep pushing. And everything is great. I have, honestly, have no struggles at this point. So it's good. I'll take it. I'm not suffering. Which, and that's what I preach to people. Don't have to suffer the whole time on prep. The last few weeks, whenever you get really lean, and you have to get more aggressive with things like cardio and your deficit with uh, calories, it's going to be tough because your body doesn't want to stay there. Your body is going to be uncomfortable. You're going to be more tired. Sleep might suffer. Hormones could get thrown off. So the last few weeks of it are going to suck, but it's temporary. It should only be temporary. But you don't have to suffer the whole time. There's a guy named Paul Revelia, and he's a coach and a bodybuilder himself, but he practices flexible dieting like I talked about last week. He did a video this week, which is awesome, and I will hopefully I can remember to link it below for you guys if you are interested. He basically says that you don't have to suffer immensely because you see somebody else suffering on prep. You Prep doesn't have to be this insanely restrictive, unhealthy approach mentally and physically. It's all about how you set it up and it's all about how you choose to approach it. If you train smarter about it, if you're smarter about your approach and your cardio and your food, getting to the stage should just be another diet cycle. You know, it's it's not it's not anything new. You're just losing body fat over time. So that's it. I think that that's gonna be it as far as prep update goals. Unless I have something else to show you guys after this clip. But hopefully you guys are enjoying these updates. Of course I always ask, if you do enjoy them, make sure and let me know so I will keep doing them. Since this is an RV channel, I know a lot of you guys aren't interested in these. But I do have a good amount of people that follow along on my fitness journey that are interested. And I enjoy putting the content out there for you guys to know that there are more ways to get to the stage. And there are so many ways to be healthy and fit and it's all dependent on the person so 
Love you guys. Hope you all have a great weekend. And I will see you all on Monday. We will see you all on Monday. We. Okay. okay bye.